Joe Wallet back again with another unboxing this time. My Geek Box April. No theme. Box is $17.99. Um, this box I don't need to cut open because it didn't have anything keeping it shut. Which makes me a little nervous. Before I open it, the last two boxes have actually been really, really good. Like, really good. And they had a classic uh, little vinyl Hellboy in the last one, which was brilliant. So hoping for some good stuff in this. But I've no idea what'll be in. So we'll open it up and we'll grab randomly and see what we have. Well, this tells you what's in it, so I'm not going to read the back. Interesting mashup of uh, Ziggy Stardust and Star Lord. <laughs> Ziggy Star Lord. That's a random postcard if ever I saw one. Next item we have a t shirt. It's white. It's very white. It's, it's different. Geek! G Root Beer. Yes, they've used Groot as a symbol for G Root Beer. Groot Beer. Geek Groot Beer. It's a simple design. It's okay. It's nothing I'm going to be excited about wearing. It's... I don't know. Very basic. It's not my favourite t-shirt. But t-shirts, as always are about a tenner, so there's some of the value of the box. What else do we have? We have Batman Series 1 mini posters? Interesting. Two mini posters. You probably can't see, but there's loads of them on the side of the box. We should probably get this one open. Oh, now I need the knife. Because I can't get into the box without it. Come on. Yep, there we go. Okay, let's see what things we have in here. Hmm, interesting. When they say mini posters, I'm kind of curious just how many these posters are. Oh, they're not that many. Oh, that's actually rather nice. It's the Dark Knight, and he's coming out of Gotham with a moon in the background. That's actually pretty cool. I'm, I like that one. Okay, and the second one is very simple. Ooh, Batman, and his cowl has been all smashed up. Probably just had a fight with Bane, or one of the other billions of enemies. Amazing detail, actually, on that. That's a really, really cool, very nice quality poster. I like that. That is not bad at all. Okay, moving on to the next item. I'm getting so many of these at the minute. DC Comics Essentials. And this one is Aquaman. And of course, Aquaman and his typical sort of yellowy gold and green colours. This is the, like the original Aquaman. Here we go. Who first appeared in 1941 in More Fun Comics. I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I could be very wrong on that one. I think it was 1941. But yeah, so there he is. And of course... On the back, all the different ones. Pretty much everybody you can think of, but the DC Universe is going to be on there. Uh, this is more like a new 52 looking version of him, but still very nice. These retail from anywhere from about 12 to 20 pounds up, so it's quite impressive. And of course, Aquaman about to become very famous when Jason, uh, blah, 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 Jason Momoa, that was really hard to say, plays him in Aquaman and also in the Justice League, which hopefully is good because DC films just haven't worked out recently. But not a bad item. Not my favourite item. I do have quite a few of these and I've actually just sold a few. So I guess I've got some more. Next we have... <laughs> oh, it's a mini poster. Um, this is obviously, as it says, Flash Gordon. Oh, what was the character? Is it just, it was one of the Hawkmen or something? It's Brian Blessed. If you're from the UK, you know who Brian Blessed is. He's got like the most amazing voice you have ever heard in your life. He's awesome. Yeah, that's kind of cool, just because I loved Flash Gordon as a kid. It was just one of those films. If you've seen Ted, you've seen the guy from Flash Gordon in Ted in a very comical role. But yeah, there's Brian Blessed as one of the Hawkmen in Flash Gordon. That has just made me smile. Not really worth anything, but kind of fun at the same time. Next we has... What? Oh. Okay. Hmm. This is a filler item. It's Vikings. 
which is cool. Vikings is an amazing show. Might upset some people, but I prefer Vikings over Game of Thrones. Sorry, it's awesome. But there you go. I'm not saying Game of Thrones isn't awesome, but Vikings is slightly better. Anyway, Vikings, little card holder. Ah, it's a throwaway item, it's something, but it's nothing you're really going to pay money for, I would have thought. Next item. Exo Man of War, again. I've seen a lot of Exo Man of War things recently. So here we go, Exo Man of War. Your standard comic. Yeah, as you can see, it's by Valiant. Uh, there we go, Exo Man of War, Valiant. And this one is from 1993. Is he having a revamp or like a reissue or is he coming back to it's issue one? Very confused. But yeah, there's the original Exo Man of War and there's the new one. Uh, Valiant are really cool. They also did Shadow Man. If you ever played the game on the PC, the PlayStation or the N64, Valiant did Shadow Man, the comic, which was awesome. Yeah, not bad. Next, we have nothing. We have nothing next. So let's see what we got in that box. Ziggy Star Lord Bloke person thing. Postcard tells you what's in the box. The awesome Brian Blessed as the Hawkman from Flash Gordon. Seriously brilliant film. If you've never seen it, watch it. It's corny as anything, but it's really good. Vikings card holder, throw it out and really. Um Vikings great show, but the card the card holder is just it's it's nothing really, is it? Yeah, let's be fair. The Aquaman figure probably takes up the entire value of the box, to be honest with you. Um I quite like him, but uh, some people aren't gonna be mad on it. And Aquaman's just that character that no one really cares about in any way unless you do in the comments in which case let me know because i'm very sorry i just i don't care about him the exo man of war comic which i'm gonna look up because obviously exo man of war has come back and i used to like it when i was younger so awesome i do like a good comic the very nice mini batman poster and the very nice dark knight coming out of gotham poster they're very cool i wasn't expecting to like them when i saw how small they were and i was like mm, this looks like a throwaway item Actually, rather nice, can't complain at them. And the ever so clever Geek G Root beer. I'm just. It doesn't feel like a quality t shirt. I mean, the quality of the t shirt is okay. It just doesn't look like a quality t shirt. I'm. Eh. I don't know. Um, so, in all honesty, I mean. Oh, the card holder's not worth anything. Nor is the Brian Blessed card or the Star Lord postcard. The posters are okay. The comic's pretty cool. The t-shirt is a bit of a... Th I'm not mad on the t-shirt. The Aquaman toy is very good. Basically, the comic and the Aquaman are pretty much what you paid for in that box. So I'm not going to say that's the strongest My Geek box. There's a lot of stuff that's just sort of... Almost filler. So not my favourite My Geek box, but not a bad one. There is the value there. But of course, I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comments. What do you think of My Geek box? What do you think of the items? Have you seen Flash Gordon? What do you think of Aquaman? What's good, what's bad, what could be better? Let me know. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button because it really helps me out. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? Because why not? You might find something you like. In the meantime, though, and most importantly, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.